in this video we will be discussing about a magnitude comparator so what is a magnitude comparator so magnitude comparator is a digital comparator and it is a combinational circuit circuit also here what it does it compares two digital or binary numbers in order to find whether the binary number is equal less than or greater than the other binary number so basically it is going to compare between two numbers so we logically design a circuit for which we will have two inputs so a and b will be two inputs and the output terminal will be three which are a greater than b condition one for a equals to b and another for a less than b so we will have three outputs here and the logic diagram we are going to develop is for a comparator that compares two binary numbers so first let us discuss about the one bit binary comparator so how does that work first we will discuss that so a one bit binary comparator it basically uh, compares only two bits and it is called a single bit comparator so a is one bit and b is one bit so it will compare between them and it consists of two inputs for two single bit numbers and there will be three output which generate less than equal and greater than outputs so if a is greater than b it will generate that output so we'll see that how to do and for that to design that we need the truth table first so in the truth table what is there so a and b are my inputs and a this three a less than b equals to b and greater than b are my outputs so what is my condition i'll take if a and b are only two bit numbers so there will be possibly four combinations will be there in this case now if the first combination 0 0 is there then both 0 and 0 are same so my output should give me the value as logic 1 for a equals to b all other values like a less greater than b and a less than b will be 0 because a is equals to b in this case now if we take a equals to 0 and b equals to 0 in this case we know a is less than b so see here a is less than b is written as 1 here and the other two values are written as 0 here similarly if we take a as 1 and b is 0 in that case a is greater than b so a is greater than value is high and a equals to b and a less than b are 0 because uh, both these conditions are false so next is if a and b both are same again a equals to b will come out now to draw the logic diagram so what i need i need to write the boolean expression for a greater than b a equals to b and a less than b so how to write that so to write that we need to check check that where are the values of a greater than b is equals to 1 so here the value of a greater than b equals to 1 so you have to write the corresponding value of a and b in the sop format so in this case a and b dash is the answer so for a greater than b a and b dash is the answer here next is a equals to b so a equals to b one place is here another is here in this case the input is a dash basis and in this case the input is a b so that is what written here this also can be written as a x nor b so this is also correct next is a less than b so what do we get a less than b so this is here so for a less than b input is 0 1 that means a dash into b so a dash b into the uh, is there now we know the boolean expression for this the next step is to implement that using the logic gates so in the logic gate what we will do here so whatever the expressions we got there for the output so we will be implementing that with the logic gate so first one is a b dash right so a b dash will give me a greater than b and uh, <coughs> a dash b will give me a less than b so see this one so this one is what a is here so it is a dash and b is directly connected here so it is a dash b so this output is a dash b so a dash b will give you what a dash b will give you a less than b so this condition is done so next is here see b is with a not gate it is given here so it is b dash and a is directly given at this point so it is a b and this output is a b dash similarly we will get a greater than b so this condition is there so next is a dash b dash plus a b so this <coughs> so what happens here is so this is equals to a x nor b so what the circuit is showing here is this output is a dash b this output is a b dash now if i put 
So, what is happening here I will see if I put a, a dash b and a b dash both to a OR gate. So, this answer is nothing but a x or b fine. Now, instead of using a OR gate, so if I use a NOT gate here that means sorry NOR gate here it means put a bubble here then it will become a x or b complement. So, that will be equals to a x nor b fine. So, that is what a x nor b. So, a x nor b is implemented here and it is a a equals to b condition fine. So, this is how you can design a 1 bit comparator with a logic diagram. So, this diagram also you can do it like that I will do it again. So, if it is confusing you can take here a take here b. So, I need a dash so I will just draw a and a dash. I need b dash as well. So, I will draw b and b dash fine. So, now a dash and b. So, if I compare that a dash in b. So, this is what a less than b. Okay. So, this value will give me a less than b. Next is a and b dash. So, if I take this it will give me a is greater than b. Similarly, if I take b dash and a dash put that in a AND gate and then if I take a and if I take b both in a AND gate okay, then I just put them in a OR gate. So, it will give me a equals to b. So, this becomes a dash b dash and this becomes a b. So, putting that in a OR gate according to this expression will get a equals to b. So, you can write in this way also. So, you can write in this way also both are correct. So, in next video we will be discussing how to implement a multiple number of comp magnitude comparator, multiple bit of magnitude comparator.